Welcome, everyone. It's nearly time for the tip here at Rupp Arena in Lexington, Kentucky. We should have a good one coming your way today. The Holy Cross Crusaders go up against the Kentucky Wildcats. Hi, everyone. Here with Bill Raftery and Bonnie Bernstein, I'm Vern Lundquist. The Kentucky head coach has his guys prepared for the matchup today. Your thoughts, Bill? The Kentucky coach is one of those guys who makes you think that if he wasn't coaching basketball, he'd be a field general or a politician or something like that. He was simply born to be a leader. The Holy Cross head coach leads his team into the fray today. What's your take, Bill? The Holy Cross coach is really a master of the entire sport of basketball, not just any one area. His kids leave school with a superb understanding of the game because he is such an outstanding teacher, Vern. Beard will probably play an important role today. Beard is a superb point guard. This guy is all heart. He gives 100% every moment he's on the floor. You've got to respect a player like that. Laska could be a crucial piece of the puzzle on the other side. Laska can also hold his own at the point. This guy has such a will to win. He plays the game with joy, and he never stops working to improve. Well, let's move out to center court for the tip-off. The Crusaders control the tip-off, and we'll get this one started. Cruiser with the pump there. Gets the lay-in. Uses the crossover. Beard backs down. Laska grabs the rebound inside. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Bonnie Bernstein, who has some information for us. A little while ago, caught up with the head coach of the Wildcats. And he told me as sophisticated as the other team is on defense, he spent an awful lot of time this week drawing up a couple new plays. He said it's important for us to throw in a bunch of looks they haven't seen before if we want any shot at the W tonight. Thanks, Bonnie. Passes to the high post. Beard passes to the left block. Thank him. What goes in? It's stolen by Beard. Count that last lay in by Beard. He got a step on the D and worked it inside beautifully. The Crusaders take it up court. Just one point separating the teams. Pass, top of the key. Glides in. Jones, yank down inside. Kentucky with the ball. About eight and a half minutes left in the half. Lynn skips it to the outside. Kuzi anticipated the pass and cut it off. Great finish by Laska. What a look. How sweet that was. Oh, Vern, they switch from the zone to... Wait a minute. From 12 feet away, tickles the twin. <laughs> Dumps it off. Lasta feeds it down low. Dish inside. It's stolen by Lynn. It's picked off by Cuffton. Book that last layup by Cuffton. Kentucky brings it up, and it's a three-point game. Barker feeds it inside. Picked off by Lasker. 
What a phenomenal steal. That's showing a tremendous nose for the ball and quick hands to boot. O'Connell dishes it to the middle. Into the lane. On the mark. Kentucky takes it up court. Just over seven minutes left in the half. Shoots it. Rosa snatches it down inside. The Crusaders will take their first time out. Barnstable checks in for the first time. Substitution on the court. The Crusaders will bring in some players from off the bench. Mulaney passes it to the top of the key. From downtown. Nails it. Let's have another look at that with the Power Bar Triple Threat Replay. I loved watching this guy when he gets on a roll. The Wildcats carry it up. It's a six-point game. They're going to double-team him. Pass, right side. Pass, cross court. Intercepted by Crofton. That's his second steal of the contest. Laska dumps it down low. Jones intercepted the pass. Kentucky with the ball. About six and a half minutes left in the half. Beard dishes down low. Mulaney jumped in front of the pass and came up with the steal. It's picked off by Beard. They're running. Backs in. Shoots the turnaround. Money! The Crusaders take it up for it, and it's a four-point game. Dumps it off. To the rack. Lays it right in. He did everything right on that one. Taking it in hard to the 10. Kentucky carries it up. About five and a half minutes left in the half. Fires from the wing. Gets it to four. Let's go, let's go. Oh, thank you. They switched the D from zone to... Wait a minute. Nails the jump shot. Kentucky will take its first timeout. Timeout on the floor. The Wildcats will make some substitutions. The Crusaders are going to make some substitutions. Kentucky brings it up. They're shooting 75% from the field. Jones swings it to the top of the key. Beard dishes inside. What a pretty assist in the play by Beard. The Crusaders with the ball. They're leading by four. by Beard, and that'll be his third steal so far. He goes up, catches the nice lead pass and strong, and hits the layup. Both teams come fast and hard out of the gate. Which one will start to wear out is my only question. Holy Cross with the ball. About four and a half minutes left in the half. Releases from 16 feet. Rosa grabs the rebound. Kentucky takes it up court. They can even the score with a bucket. Intercepted by Clifton. The finisher finishes with a soft touch. Kentucky carries it up. They're 8 for 10 from the floor. 
Hirsch passes back to the top of the key. Lob inside. The Wildcats touched it last, right before it went out of bounds. Heaves up a prayer from beyond half court. Not even close. Cuffton tries to post him up. Bounced off the back iron and in by Cuffton. The Wildcats bring it up the court. They're trailing by six. Pass down low to the rim. Nice dish by Beard. That's how to finish the hoop turn. Take it up strong. The Crusaders bring the ball up. They've been on a tear offensively. Dumps it off. Takes the shot. Gets it to fall from the line. Kentucky calls timeout. The Wildcats will go with a different look out there. The Crusaders will make some mass substitutions here. The Wildcats carry it up. About three and a half minutes left in the half. Pass. High post. Shoots the turnaround. Gets nothing but net. They were on a tight there, and it still didn't do any good. Hard to defend inside. The Crusaders bring it up. They're leading 24 to 20. Four, three. Yes. The Wildcats bring it up the court. 2.53 left in the first half. They're bringing the double team. Gently drops it in. Marvelous looking discipline right there. No one guy stepped up to the challenge. Unacceptable. Holy Cross takes it up court. They're shooting 85% from the floor. Rides in. Banks it right in. The lay in with the sunk kick. Oh, Vern, they switch from a zone to... Barker passes to the high post. To the bucket. Flips it in for two. What a nice soft touch. Smooth as silk, Vern. The Crusaders bring it up. It's a five-point game. Pass, top of the key. Mulaney passes it inside. The Wildcats were the last ones to get a piece of it before it headed out of bounds. Off the inbound pass. Count it. The Wildcats carry it up. They're 12 for 14 from the field. Kentucky is the last to get a piece of it before it headed out of bounds. Holy Cross with the ball. A basket would push their lead to double digits. O'Connell passes it to the left block. From eight feet, uses the glass and goes in. Kentucky falls time. The Wildcats are making a few lineup changes. The Crusaders will bring out some reserves. The Wildcats with the ball. They're behind 34 to 24. Number five, swings it to the right side. Pass, high post. Mulaney picked off that pass for a second steal of the contest. The finisher finishes in close. Kentucky brings it up. They've been somewhat careless with the ball thus far. Oh, 
to put an end to the run. Mulaney reels it in. Oh, heartbreak run. That's the shot you hoped for, but it didn't drop. Dumps it off. Hits the layup. Gets it to go with the soft kiss. Kentucky carries it up. 39 seconds left in the first half. Sails in. Gently drops it in. Holy Cross takes it up court. They lead by 12. Fires on target from 16 feet. He looked like he was thinking about passing on that one, but he went ahead and buried it. The Wildcats take it up court. They're shooting 81% from the field. Releases from 16 feet. Connects. A three off target. And we're headed to halftime with the score 40 to 28. And now it's time for the Power Bar Player of the Half. Take it away, Bill. We've seen good execution on the offensive end from both teams. They've been finding and making good open shots. The Crusaders are way out front. Oscar has been an assassin. He's been unstoppable when he's got the ball in his hands at the offensive end. Look at these highlights. You won't find a miss because all he does is knock him down. Oh, how pretty. And that's our Power Bar Player of the Half. Oh, Vern, they switch from a zone to... Wait a minute. Jones inbounds the ball and the second half is underway. It's stolen by Kuzi, and that will be his second steal of the contest. Bonnie Bernstein has some extra info for us. Well, at halftime, I talked with the head coach of the Crusaders. He didn't have much to complain about with the lead they had at the half. And he shook his head and said, man, we shot lights out from downtown in the first half. And, of course, there's no way you can know whether that type of three-point streak can continue in the second half, but I sure hope it does. I would, too, if I were him, Vern. Thank you, Bonnie. It's picked off by Barker. Slam down by Jones. Wow, it's been an offensive showcase for both these teams. What fireworks. Holy Cross with the ball. About nine and a half minutes left in the second half. Dumps it off. Misses the jumper. Kentucky carries it up. They're 15 for 18 for the game. Here's the double team. Beard passes to the right block. The Crusaders bring the ball up, and it's a 10-point game. Great finish by Tufton. Doubled up. Dumps it off. Throws it up. Knocks it down from the wing. That's what they need to do. Get good execution and smart shots. Laska brings it up. He's got 12 points. Tries to back down. Kofka passes to the middle. Takes it in. Misses the layup. It's stolen by Cuffton. That's his fourth steal so far. The jumper was buried by Cuffton. Kentucky brings it up. They trail by 12. Jones passes it to the corner. To the bucket. Graceful finish. Holy Cross calls time. 
Five out on the floor. Curran comes in off the bench. On the floor. Holy Cross brings it up right around eight minutes left in the second half. Dumps it off. Four, three. Two score. You've got to love his aggressive personality, but you certainly don't like the shot. Here comes the double team. Beard passes it to the right block. Picked off by Curran. Penetrates inside, hammered, and he will go to the line. First team foul. Sinks the first of two. Barker will leave the floor. He gets them both. Beard brings it up court. He's got four assists. They're in the 2 3 zone with Minimum -man Principles. They'll try and shut down those passing lanes. Lynn passes to the high post. They're going to double team him. Dumps it off. Mullaney picked it off back there, and that's his third steal so far. That's a foolish pass to make in traffic. There were just too many defenders around him. Huffman passes to the wing. From deep, gets the bucket. We got, let's get the Wildcats carry it up. They're trailing 49 to 34. Intercepted by Curran. That's his second steal of the contest. Jones calls it in. Dumps it off. It's picked off by Mullaney. Holy Cross takes it up court. They're five for seven from beyond the arc. Pass, high post. From the line, swish. Kentucky with the ball. Just over six minutes left in the second half. He's doubled up. To stop the run. Flips it in for two. He drew the D and then found the open man. The Crusaders all time. The Crusaders are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. The Crusaders bring it up. They're leading 51 to 36. Curran backs down. Shoots from the post. It falls. Curran. The Wildcats bring the ball up. They're shooting 85% for the game. To the rack. Gets the lay-in. The Crusaders with the ball. About five and a half minutes left in the second half. Curran passes it to the top of the key. In the key, right in the bottom of the bucket. Kentucky calls timeout. Timeout on the floor. The Wildcats are making substitutions. They've got a lot of ground to make up. Backs him down. Dish down low. Far side.
Rosa tries to post him up. Beard dumps it to the middle. Only a few seconds left in the shot clock. Puts up the tray, sinks it. The Crusaders take it up court. They're shooting 71% from three-point range. Curran passes to the left side. To the rim. Plays it right in. Sweetness. They gave him a look and paid for it. Kentucky carries it up. They're behind by 16. Tries to back him in. Substitution on the court. The Crusaders bring it up the court. Just over four minutes left in the second half. Number 16 feeds it to the middle. Shoots the turnaround. Goal net. He is so explosive with that move. Just a wicked shot to contest. Oh, thank you. They switched the D from zone to... Wait a minute. Takes it in. Lays it right in. Lasta brings it up. He's shooting 100% from long range. To the bucket. Lays it right in. Kentucky uses its second for last time. The Wildcats are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. The Crusaders will make some substitutions. The Wildcats with the ball. They're trailing 61 to 45. Pass, top of the key. Dumps it off. Nice speed by Barker. Holy Cross brings it up. Just over three minutes left in the second half. Pound anticipated the pass and cut it off. The layup was blown by Towns. Flipped it up and out. This team really needs him to hit that. Number 25 passes it to the right wing. Takes it up. Gently drops it in. The Wildcats take it up court. 2.46 left in the game. To the rack. Gets the lay-in. Holy Cross takes it up court. They should use some clock here. Number 25 backs in. Dumps it off. Number 23 feeds it down low. Pass left wing. Behind the arc, automatic. That's a shocker, Vern. You're not going to see him bury those too often. Parker brings it up the floor. He's five for six from the floor. Dumps it off. Parker lobs it to the middle. Picked off by number 15. Dish inside. Into the lane. And here's the State Farm drive of the game. The courage on this fella is something else. He's such a competitor. They need to find some answers here. Dumps it off. Number 25. Intercepted the pass. The tough shot. He fouled hard, and he'll take a tip to the line. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. 
He can't get the first. The Wildcats will bring the rest of their starters back on the floor. Houston didn't sit for long, and he's coming back into the ball game. Good on number two. Houston will go to the bench, and with their lead, he'll probably be a spectator for the rest of the game. The Wildcats bring it up. They've been somewhat careless with the ball thus far. Dumps it off. Beard bounces it to the middle. Jones passes it to the right side. Backs down. Pulls the trigger. Nails the turnaround jumper. Crusaders bring the ball. They've got a pretty comfy lead. From 20 feet out, right in the bottom of the bucket. That's what I like to see, Vern. A role player like him taking advantage of his chances. The Wildcats bring it up the court. They're shooting 86% from the floor. From the wing. Holy Cross carries it up. 57 seconds left in the game. Number 23 tries to back down. Hold in by Grosen. That's his third rebound of the contest. Well, that's not really his shot, Burn, but I know he's just trying to make something happen. Beard feeds it inside. Lays it right in. Holy Cross with the ball. And they can just sit on it to end the game. Dumps it off. Shoots. Gets the jumper. Brings it up for it. He's got seven assists. From downtown. It's in. He's usually no threat from out there. That's not his shot. But when he's all alone, sure. Let it fly. Launches one from beyond the arc. Rosa grabs it. And that's his fourth rebound thus far. Goes up. Catches the nice lead pass and stride and hits the layup. There's the horn. Holy Cross knocks off the Wildcats, 73 to 60. It was a good battle. Let's quickly go to Greg Gumbel in the studio with the Pontiac game-changing performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel. Let's get right to today's Pontiac game-changing performance. It's no secret that getting momentum on your side is one of the keys to winning basketball games. The Crusaders used this shot to take off on a huge run. This game might have had a much different outcome if it wasn't for this sequence. That's your Pontiac game-changing performance. On behalf of Pontiac and all of us here at the 2K Sports Studios, I'm Greg Gumbel. Now, let's go back to Vern Lundquist and Bill Raftery courtside. Thanks, Greg. For Bonnie Bernstein and Bill Raftery, I'm Vern Lundquist saying thanks for joining us for College Hoops on 2K Sports.